Let me explain to you what happens when you buy from the exchange. An exchange is basically a marketplace. So if this, if you imagine you're sitting in a room, this is you in the middle here, sitting in a room and there's an auction going on. And the people that are providing goods are Google and Microsoft and Pubmatic and uh, Rubicon Project and Yahoo and a whole host of more than a hundred uh, large networks that have ad places to sell. So these networks have provided publishers with their software to put ads on their website. So they really want to make sure that those publishers get paid and have a lot of cash flowing to them. So it's in their interest to do that because they know that there are other networks out there. They can always go hopping because everyone's always interested in getting more, more publishers on board. So when they cannot sell directly through their telesales team, like Microsoft has a telesales team calling agencies like ours, Google has a team, uh, Pubmatic has a team, uh, when they can't sell what they have, they provide it to the open market, the open exchange. And that's where you start when you use a DSP. That doesn't mean it's bad or good. That's just how it works. Later on, when the campaign that you run starts to prove itself out and you know more about what's going on, then you can start doing direct negotiations. But that's at a later stage. So that's how the, the, the game starts. The next thing is great. So you've got a massive volume here. You've got an incredible quantity of inventory available. So what about quality? So audiences um, you target, there are three ways you can do that. Um, one way is you start your, your campaign by starting up an AdWords campaign. AdWords has great uh, affinity and uh, audience data. Uh, you can start your campaign and then you retarget into the exchange. Same with Facebook. We all know Facebook has incredible demographic information, incredible uh, audience uh, segments. You start your campaign in Facebook, you retarget into all of these other uh, websites and exchanges, uh, networks and so on. Amazon provides um, purchase history information. You can target people on what they've previously bought, if they've bought it regularly, if they bought it intermittently, um, the type of person that, the, that, they've, that they've shown to be based on their purchase history. And then there's obviously Apple iAd which can uh, show you or target your ad based on what's already on a person's iPhone or iPad. You start your campaign there and then you retarget into the exchange. That's one way. Another way is you start your campaign here and you buy data from suppliers such as Experian, Mastercard and a whole host of other suppliers that enable you to show an ad only when your criteria are met. Only show my ad if the person is a homeowner with good credit. Only show my ad if whatever your criteria you've set. That's another way of doing it. A third way is to obviously go to a publisher that has your audience. Like Newsmax is, an audio, is a publisher, is a, is a website that predominantly has baby boomers, male baby boomers uh, that are reasonably affluent. Uh, those are the three, obviously then they've got Snapchat and uh, Spotify, this is uh, the millennials, uh, publishers mostly. And then you've got combinations of those three factors, uh, of those three approaches. For example, you could um, start a campaign on AdWords and then when the person leaves AdWords uh, and they go um, read a, a news article through Taboola, you can show them uh, some, a recommended site at the bottom of any, any news vendor like CNN, BBC, uh, Daily Mail, countless, countless publish, uh, news publishers have their, um, their ad tag. Um, another way is um, if you're trying to uh, find uh, affluent business owners, you, ta you tag them on uh, Bloomberg.com and then when they go to their LinkedIn profile or the LinkedIn site, then you can target them there or uh, when they then go into Facebook you can show them a video through the LiveRail uh, network. Countless combinations of uh, helping you find your audience um, 
accurately and uh, we hope in a cost-effective way.